Hey Audacious Church, welcome to another installment of our Audacious Devotions. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world today and whatever you're up to. I'd love to encourage you from Nehemiah 2 verse 5 today, which says this. Nehemiah speaking says, If it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favour in his sight, let him send me, Nehemiah, to the city of Judah, where my ancestors are buried, so I can rebuild it. Did you know, church, not everything God calls you to is to pioneer, start, launch, or build from scratch. God also calls you to rebuild and to resurrect. Here we pick up the story and Nehemiah has had a grieving moment for Jerusalem and for the Jewish remnant that have survived the exile. He's weeping, he's fasting, he's praying, he's getting emotional and he approaches the king and he makes this petition of the king. He says, let me go to Jerusalem and rebuild the city. He gets permission from Artaxerxes and he steps out in faith to go and rebuild and resurrect the city of Jerusalem. Now, when you step out in faith, opposition will arise. Throughout Nehemiah, Sambala, Tobiah and Geshem are the naysayers. They they ridicule him, saying, you can't do it, you won't do it, God's not with you. How dare you try and rebuild the city? Who do you think you are? They say, what are those feeble people doing? Even a fox climbing up on the wall that they've built would break down the wall of stone. They've got so much ridicule and opposition. And at every junction moment, it would be easy for Nehemiah and the team to go, we've had enough we're calling it a day, we're calling it quits, but no, instead they press on, they move forward and they keep rebuilding and resurrecting Jerusalem. They kept building and building, they posted guards, they moved forward despite the ridicule, the opposition, they trusted God, rebuilt and resurrected the city. And today church, I want to encourage you that when opposition arises, heaven descends. Catch this in Nehemiah 6:16. 6, further on, it says, When all our enemies heard about this, all the surrounding nations were afraid and lost their self-confidence because they realized that the work had been done with the help of our God. When you step out in faith to rebuild and resurrect, heaven will descend on your behalf and God will do only what he can do. Because when you step out in faith, you're not stepping out on your own. You're actually stepping into a partnership with God, with the Holy Spirit, to do what he's calling you to do. So in other words, when God gives you a word to rebuild and resurrect, he's not calling you out on your own. Notice when Peter got out of the boat and under the water, it was Jesus who was with him, who was calling him out. When God is calling you out today, he's calling you out to be with him, be in the place of adventure, following his great call for your life. Today I wonder, church, what is it that God is calling you to rebuild and resurrect? Maybe it's friendships. Maybe it's your marriage. Maybe it's the God dream that you once had but you've let fall by the wayside and die. What is it today that God is calling you to rebuild and to resurrect? It doesn't always need to be from scratch, but maybe today God is calling you to rebuild something in your life and through your life. But notice when he does, don't be surprised when opposition arises to your God call, to the God dream, to you stepping out in faith and partnering with God. But notice what happens when you do. When opposition arises because of your move of faith, heaven will descend and God as always will do only what he can do on your behalf. Today be encouraged church that God is calling you to rebuild and resurrect but he's not left you on your own. He's with you, he's alongside you and he's doing incredible things behind the scenes and in full view. Church have a great day today and be encouraged. Rebuild and resurrect in Jesus name.